Okay, that last section was really long. Here's going to be a little bit of a shorter section, but make sure to understand some differentiations here. So section 7.3 is on cartilage growth. So we're going to take a step back from bone and talk about cartilage. Here is your learning objective. And our process of cartilage growth is going to begin during embryonic development. Growth in length, and this is an important part, so growth in length, highlight or write this down, is through interstitial growth, and it's going to occur within internal regions of cartilage, and growth in width is by appositional growth, and that occurs on the cartilage's outside edge. So you can see interstitial growth here. Remember, this is going to allow growth in length for our cartilage. We'll start out with our conjure site within its happy home, the lacuna. Then it begins to exhibit some meiotic activity. What was mitosis? If you said cell division, you are correct. So now we have two cells. These are chondroblasts, and they're going to be produced by mitosis from one chondrocyte to be occupied in one lacuna. So it's kind of like if you were able to clone yourself and be stuck in a house together. And then each cell is going to produce new matrix, right, because they're chondroblasts and blasts build and they'll begin to separate from its neighbors. So it's like you've been around yourself too long and you accumulated all of this stuff and you just need to get away. So now each cell has matured and become became a chondrocyte. And the cartilage is gonna to continue to grow internally. So here's our new matrix around our chondrocytes and our cartilage has grown in length. Now let's take a look at appositional growth, which is gonna allow for the cartilage to grow in width. We have meiotic activity that's gonna occur in the stem cells within our perichondrium. So you could see in the perichondrium, we've got some of these special five-year-olds these mesenchymal cells that can become anything that they want. And so some of them decide that they want to become chondroblasts. But before they do that, they become an undifferentiated stem cell. So now these new undifferentiated stem cells are going to become some committed cells that start to differentiate into chondroblasts. And what do chondroblasts do? They are gonna to start to secrete their new matrix at the periphery. So we see this new cartilage matrix all in this pink that's being secreted. And then once we have this matrix in place, these chondroblasts start to get pushed apart and become chondrocytes or our mature cartilage cells that will continue to produce more matrix at the periphery.